Did you know one in five persons has hay fever? It's a huge number. What a nice day, what a nice weather. But for some people, it can be annoying times because it's hay fever time. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Perhaps you recognize this. Stuffy nose, itchy eyes, itchy skin, sneezing, coughing, low energy. Those are the symptoms of hay fever. And perhaps you know, you already know you have hay fever, or perhaps you understand the symptoms, but you didn't know you had hay fever. Then it can be also interesting to look at it if you can recognize this in the same periods of the year. Now here, hay fever season is starting. So a lot of people are starting to get those symptoms. So what is hay fever? Hay fever, you can tell, is an allergic reaction to dust particles, and more specific, pollen. So pollen we can put in four different categories. Trees, herbs, grasses, and fungi. From that point on, you get all kinds of symptoms, which I talked to you earlier. So I got some tips for you. Tip one, stay away from your eyes. Even if they're itchy, I understand you want to touch them, but do not touch them because you're going to make things worse. Tip two, dry your clothing indoors, not outdoors. I understand it really smells nice that your clothes has been dried outdoors, but the pollen can also go inside of your clothes and then you can also make things worse. Tip three, wear glasses or when it's nice weather, Sunglasses, it prevents the pollen from coming into your eyes. Tip four, wash your hands regularly. And with COVID going on, it's a good idea also, but understand the pollen also can come to your hands. And so if you do not wash them after you've been outside, you can also get into problems. Tip five, keep windows and doors closed to prevent the pollen to come inside of your house. Tip six, you can rub some uh, Vaseline underneath your nose that prevents the pollen to go directly into your nose. It's a, it's a good idea. Already at tip seven, use the neti pot. Tip eight, vacuum clean your house regularly. But understand, check also that some people, they have so much hay fever reactions going on that even the vacuum cleaner can be uh, a trigger. So then try to uh, do it with a mop or something like that, but understand, keep your house clean. For every disease, there is a cause. So we can look at tips, and I call them a little bit like band-aids. It's nice to know, nice to have when there's things going on, but if you get back to basics, it's really interesting and important, if you ask me, to look at the cause of a disease. And in this subject, we're talking about hay fever. So. I think there are multiple things you can do, but there are two things which you can do when you never get hay fever again. The first one is you take an allergy test. And with that test, they're going to put different drops on your arm. For example, different trees uh, or different grass kinds or different herbs. And then they're going to put a small, small injection into your arm a really, real small injection and then you can see within a couple of seconds if your if your skin is going to get an aller allergic reaction or not so then you know what the trigger is for your allergic reaction and from that point on you can get a spe specific therapy and where you can get an injection i think it was every week for eight weeks long and then for three years you get an injection every month you can go to the doctor for that, but in most cases you need to go to the hospital for that. So, okay, then I say, okay, this is a lot of injections, a lot of time, a lot of effort, but then there's only a couple of specific pollens or whatever is going to give you the allergic reaction, which you can deal with now. But what if you can do something about the cause where you can never have hay fever again? That would be great, right? So. If we look at the, at the numbers, most people who have hay fever 
and improve their breeding the correct way, never get hay fever again. I have seen this many times with my clients. So if you start improving your breeding the right way and improve your breeding condition, at one point hay fever will disappear. Below in the comments I will place the link where you can test your breeding condition and understand for most people at a CP number of 45 and higher, hay fever disappears. For now I wish you a really nice day. I'm going to enjoy the beautiful weather and uh, I hope you will too. Bye bye.